Hi all, and thanks for watching. This is the 37th video in my Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. And we had just started the House of God, so I'm just going to continue on with that side quest, and hopefully we'll get that finished. Okay. So we just spoke with the owner, and now we have to talk with the master builder. So let's see where he's at. Okay, so he's over there. No, nope, that's on him. What about you? Stone Mason, Stone Mason. Okay, none of you guys. Let's see. He must be somewhere around here. Okay, he's on the other side of the wall. That must be him there. I am honored that you should come to me. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work. Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumors going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumors, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest laborer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? You talked about the devil's skull. I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Okay, so I have to talk to you. Sheshik? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. May the Lord watch over you. Can you tell me something about the poor wretch with the broken head? Yarek, he was a decent person. You could rely on him. He was honest, went to church. Why do you want to know? Did he have any enemies? Somebody who would want to... Kill him? 
You think someone threw that stone block on his head? If you're looking for the culprit, then have a look at the stone. Who's in charge of the place where the accident happened? Me. I watch over everything here, and when necessary, I go to see my master. He's kept busy enough with the construction of the church. And are you responsible for checking the stone? <sighs> yes. We tested what load they could handle and how much they crumbled during dressing. But some of them must have been more weathered than we thought. Where were you when it happened? I'm not even sure. Somewhere else. I ran over when I heard the screaming, and they were already taking him away. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. These things happen with great building works. It wasn't the first time, and God forgive me for saying it, but it won't be the last. Okay. So ask Leshik about the skull that was found and look around for clues. Bless you. Got out to you, sir. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here. On holy ground. In the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil. Besides, the thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Take care now. Okay. So we'll look for clues and look around the place where Leshik dropped the skull. Okay. See if we can find a clue here. Okay, so there should be a clue somewhere around here. we're looking for. This seems to be the area where the clue is marked. Not seeing anything.
Good day to you. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his head caved in, lying trembling. I never want to see anything like that again in my life. May the Lord watch over you. I'm honoured that you should come to me. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his head caved in, lying trembling. I never want to see anything like that again in my life. Same answer. Farewell. What about you? God be with you. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his head caved in, lying trembling. I never want to see anything like that again in my life. May the Lord watch over you. So all of them have the same answer. Okay. Anything here? I don't know what type of clue I'm looking for. Check this. Let's look around and see if I can find anything that will clarify what happened. <laughs> Okay, maybe in this next chamber. in the wrong button. Okay. So it seems to be in that little area there. Okay. The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. Okay. Is that the clue? This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it.
Okay, there we go. something about it. First Sigismund attacks, and now some other fuckers have raided the stud farm, and folk are being waylaid by bandits and robbed day in, day out. But their lordships are fighting them off. They're looking into that Neuhoff business, and I hear they've caught someone. That's news to me. Who did they catch? How should I know? I only heard they caught someone nearby. I hope they beat the living daylights out of him. They should let the exit. Okay. Look around the place where dropped a skull. Then B way over here. Okay, so the skull should be over here. Okay, let's call my horse. There you are, Pebbles. Oh, I can't get through the door. Okay, you'll just have to stay here. So let's have a look at the spot. So just ahead of us. Interesting sight. Oh, is that it? Moonshine. No, that's not it. Let's just double check. Okay, so it should be somewhere around here. I said it rolled down the hill. So let's see. some nettle. Oh, 
go, some chickens. Okay, not really what we're looking for. Should be somewhere right around here. I think. Bushes. Lots of nettle around here. Just kind of clearing that. Just to be sure it's not hidden under some. See it. Is that it? There it is. I was kind of lucky I, I slipped into the water. Well, I'm not capable of judging. Okay, now what? Take the skull to the local knacker. Where's that? Okay, so that's down there. Right across from the church. So let's pull up the map. And we'll head and do this first. Get the skull checked out. And then we'll go check out that stone. Okay, the local knacker. That should be right ahead of us. In here. Good day to you. God be with you. Okay, so it's not him. What about you? Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Is there anything interesting going on here? It's so peaceful, it worries me. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, so it wasn't those two fellows. wonder what a knacker is anyways. Oh, private area. to the local knacker. Oh, okay. Now he's up there. Okay, so this house right here. Grave digger. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I found this skull. 
People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Goodbye. Okay, so Grave Digger is a knacker. Okay, what's next? Ask the scaffolder or Samola about the skull and how it got there. Okay, and then the masonry. That's a fair way away, so I guess I'll just head back over and ask them about the skull. Okay, so this first area. There you are. All Masons. Another Mason. Okay, I'll ask a mason here. God be with you. Good luck to you. Maybe it's back over here. Master Carol. Good day to you. The skull is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. God be with you. Okay. Oh, private area. So where's this other fellow? Shows outside of the wall there. Wonder if he's outside the wall.
guess it must have fallen from there. seem to see this fellow anywhere. But you, overseer's hand. private area hmm it's almost like he's run off Okay, I'll try climbing up top. I know what what the guy looks like. He's wearing kind of that Robin Hood yeah. style hat. He doesn't seem to be anywhere. Maybe it's getting too late in the day. Okay, I think I'll head it over maybe and um, check out that stone then I'll come back here okay so I've kind of checked all around here and I couldn't find them this Yeah, it must be too late in the day. They must have wandered off for the for the day. I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I... No. Is that the right... Oh, it's this next place here. Okay. Who's it? Or was it Townberg? Oh, I think it was Townberg. I've gone too far. Okay, oh, I couldn't get past that. 
I can't see a thing. Blood will be spilt. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just following the path. You'll see the sores there. There we go. Okay. Right. So B. So Townberg. And it's right there, just outside of Telmberg. Okay, let's head over to Telmberg. And I guess that must be the quarry up there. So I think I'm supposed to go here. I'll just throw a marker on and then pull that up. Okay, so it's at the end of the building on the other side of the river. Over here at this camp it looks like. Okay, so which way? I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, find out the origin. What is that? Something just came up there. So I found a a um, bit of the nest of vipers. Okay, I didn't actually intend to do that. So let's just turn around. House of God. Okay, so it looks like we're in the right camp. And actually, they've got some food here. Is there a bed I can rest in? Excellent. Can't save, but at least I can rest. There we 
go. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Sir Divish mentioned you've been having one or two problems. Well, he's not wrong. Thanks to these rumours going around, my stone blocks are just sitting here. Or lying. What happened with the stone? A beast broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame it on the quality of the stone. Ha! I bet they were too drunk to see straight. And isn't it possible that... It's not. I sent them the best stone. It will be a sin to cut corners to try and make money from the house of God. Uh, I'm sorry you have so many worries. I hope it all ends well. It'll end, one way or the other. It reeks of profiteering. And politics. See you later. What do you know about these rumours? There was an accident in the monastery, and there are rumours going around that it was because of bad quality stone. And isn't it possible one bad one might have slipped in there somehow? No, it's slander. Maybe they start thinking this quarry's too expensive and they found themselves a new one. Whatever's behind it, I want to know about it. Did you send the last delivery of stone in smaller pieces? No. Why would we do that? We always deliver it in big blocks. It's easier for us. Well, that's odd. They told me they were glad you got them smaller pieces, so they had less work to dress it. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived, and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself because I wanted to exchange a few words with them, and nothing happened along the way. Then someone must have replaced them on site. But what would the builders have out of it? To replace it, and then say we sent it? I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely it's someone else who has their fingers in this. A thief? Here's the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, uh, okay. Okay. So let's head back. See if we can't find the fellow we need to talk to and then talk to the master builder. Oh. Okay, got past that. Okay, let's see if we can't find those fellows now. Is that him there? Yep. Okay. You know the head they found near the scaffolding? What about it? Someone put it there on purpose, after they stuck horns on it to make it look sinister. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to do. Who's responsible? And where did he find the skull? I don't know, but I'll try to find out. Have you seen Leszek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight so he can tell me something important. 
Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull. I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. Okay, so I'm to meet him during the evening. And now for the master builder. Good health to you. Has anything else unusual happened? I can think of a couple of things. When we were extending the scaffolding, they dug up a human skull by the wall. With horns. The scaffolder Leshek got rid of it straight away, but there are still rumors going round about it. And about the building being cursed. A skull with horns? How did it get there? I don't know. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but there were enough witnesses. You can ask Leshek. He'll tell you more. What about the second thing? One of our workers ran away. And that's unusual? Somewhat. Usually, if someone runs away, they take things with them. But he left everything here, absolutely everything, and disappeared like steam over a cooking pot. He didn't tell a soul what he was up to. I thought I already told him about the skull. Guess it's just out of sequence. Okay. So the piece of stone. I looked around, and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest. Yes, it's very poor. But we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else, and we couldn't wait for more. That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction, I don't know. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done, or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So someone had to take it out without being seen? That huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. Farewell. Okay, so what's next? Alright, so I'm to meet the two men here under the scaffolding. So is that out here? Let me just figure out where I'm supposed to meet them. side. So right here, just check, make sure I have this. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to meet them both later, which is right around here. Oh, under that stone. Okay, is that fellow around? Alright, so I guess I should just wait. So what time of day is it? Oh, it's noon. Okay. Let's wait until... I guess 8 o'clock.
So obviously something's going on. here yet. Okay. After dusk. See them here yet. Alright, we'll wait a little longer. So it's almost 10 o'clock. Okay. Hmm. Tried to drop something on my head. Wonder if the two of them are in on eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. Okay, do I have some food? Oh, that's gonna give me food poisoning. Oh my I was pretty hungry. Right. Oh really? <laughs> Oh, don't fall okay. down. I'll tell you everything. Who are you? I, I'm just a worker here. He told me that if I take care of you, then he'll forgive my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Who sent you? Who's the master builder's helper? Y Young Smola. What? He was supposed to be here as well. He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshek was hiding out there. Oh, fuck. What am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss. On purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D -d Don't kill me, please. Fine, but I don't want to see you here again. Thank you. Okay, so now what? Catch up with Smola and stop him. Okay, so right over there, next to the longhouse. <coughs> Ugh! 
Okay, so let's see if we can get something to eat out of the pod here. Then we'll catch up to that fellow. Excellent. Okay. It's right over there next to the longhouse. Let me pull up the map. Right here. Yeah. Oh, it's above me here. Grab some more food. Okay, so it should be over here. Okay, there's the longhouse. Uh, it shows it as being just up for me here. Trespassing. Doesn't seem to be around. maybe no oh he can be anywhere around here I see okay let's have a look around then He's hiding. Trespassing. Boat up here. Trespassing.
We could be in the building there, but it's coming up as trespassing when I try and go in. Oh, caught him. What the hell are you doing? That's Leszek, isn't it? Yes, it's him. I found him. And now I'm taking him to the Sawbones. I'd say he's dead as a doornail. You killed him, didn't you? Not at all. Look, he's still breathing. Oh, he's attacking me. Crap. Okay, it's not stealing, so I guess I'll grab everything off him. And... Steal all. Hmm. I want that book. But it's gonna be stealing. Okay, let's just take the book. Oh, oops, grabbed everything. Okay, what now? Inform Sir Dervish. Okay, so we have to go back to Sir Dervish. All right. So let's head out and we'll tell Sir Dervish what happened here. He was kicking my butt. I got pretty beat up there. At least there's a bed at the castle. I'll have to get rid of my stolen goods. Okay, let's lighten our load a bit. Okay, 155. 
anything else here? Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go see Sir Dervish. It's Tellenberg, I'm pretty sure I have to go to. And from the looks of it, it should be morning by the time I get there. Okay, excellent. And since I have a bed here, I'll turn the quest in and then I'll go and rest and save there. Okay, let's pull up the journal one last time. Inform Sir Dervish. Uh, it's still pretty early. So let's go rest for a minute. And then we'll talk to him. So we'll wait till nine. Get a bit of health back while we're waiting. I'm surprised we didn't have to go back to the master builder or anything. Because they won't really know why the guy doesn't show up in the morning. Okay. Oh. Out of my way. And where can we find you? So over there. I wonder if he's on the wall. Hi. Sir Dervish. There you are. Hey. Who's there? Damn. I've got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The master builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. And I should reward you for it. Thank you, Sir Divish. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, excellent. So that ends the House of God quest. And I'm just going to go back to my room here, actually rest, and I'll just save it at the same time, and we'll finish up this video. So let me just have one more look at the map here. So I don't see any quests here. So we'll find some new quests in the next video to kind of do some more of the side quests and hopefully improve upon our characters. So let's have a look at our player here. Okay, so we do have some perks. Now let's take care of these. Better chance of drawing blood. The more I'm wounded, the stronger my attacks. Draw an opponent's blood gives you a plus one strength. I think I'll go with this one. 
more you're wounded, the stronger your attacks. And what do we have for skills? Ah, okay, hunting and maintenance. God here, huntsman. Do that one. That way they won't run off. And maintenance. Okay. Okay, I'll take this one here. All right, I think we're good. So I'm just going to rest and save it at this point. So if there are any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Sorry. Um, and I'm just going to finish up right now. So we'll get another side quest in the next video. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.